After last weekend's morale boosting goalless draw with Arsenal and a first clean sheet of the season for Southampton under 18s, it's Fulham next up at Staplewood on Saturday morning. Carl Clinton was an integral part of that back line that kept Arsenal at bay last weekend. The Gunners had notched up 19 goals in just six games before that and the centre-back is confident that the clean sheet will only spread confidence around his back line ahead of this weekend's visit of Fulham. So Carl, can we just first start off by talking about that clean sheet against Arsenal? That must have been really pleasing for you know, a defender's perspective. Yeah, it was. It was very good. Pleasing for the team as well. We've been working on defending all week, so... It was nice to show us, show the coaches what we've got, what we can do and what we should be doing for the weeks to come. Do you feel like it was a bit overdue? You know, you've had a bit of a lack of luck, haven't you, in recent games? Yeah, like our luck was on our side. Like they had a few, they had a few chances, but I thought we had a few chances. It could, we could have won the game. They could have won the game. It was nice to get the clean sheet in the end, but happy for that. First clean sheet of the season it was. Is that a real boost for the teams? You know, um, mentality. You know, going into this next game. Yeah, the mentality was good. Like on Monday when we came into training, it used to be like a little bit dull because we weren't, the results weren't going our way. But we came in on Monday, everyone was happy. Everyone's been training okay this week. It's all been good, and then we're just looking forward to the game now. Was there a bit of added significance with the fact that it was the league leaders as well? Yeah, that as well. But we don't really care who we come up against. It's really the clean sheets, the first goal, and then trying to win the game. So is that really going to be, you know, the foundations for this now against Fulham? Do you really feel that you can, you know, like go and do that again and then, you know, maybe add that little bit up front? Well, if, obviously, if we stop them scoring goals, it gives us a chance to win the game. So hopefully that can be the case. And how's things for you recently? You must be really happy recently after your, your double against West Ham. Yeah. It was nice to get that. It was a long time coming. I thought it been like two years since my last goals. To get to on one day was good. You're feeling quite confident, you know, with them being sixth place. You know, if you can hold first place, and surely, you know, you must be feeling really good going into this game. Yeah, uh, well, we don't really look at the table. We just see every game as it is. So we go into every game trying to win. Do you have any particular memory of Fulham, you know, from last season? Not really. They're quite a big. They're quite big. They're quite speedy as a team. So we're going to have to look at that whilst we're defending. Their size and speed didn't trouble Saints too much last time they faced the Cottagers. Goals from Jake Hesketh, Josh Sims and Will Wood saw them battle to a 3-1 victory. And Anthony Limbrook is confident last week's clean sheet will give the players the confidence to conjure up a repeat performance. Obviously it was uh, nice to get a clean sheet on the weekend and we've been doing a lot of defending work uh, as a team. So pressing, we pressed really well from the front against Arsenal and to keep a clean sheet against them who were top of the table and and been scoring goals quite freely. I think they put sort of three or four past Chelsea. So to yeah, keep a clean sheet was really, really important for us and we focused on that during the week. So it was yeah, pleasing and hopefully we can build on that performance and take it in the weekend. Just how significant was a clean sheet against the league leaders? I mean, you know, and from a defensive point of view, goals have been leaked at times. So to go and do that against Arsenal, like you said, who had scored 19 goals prior to that game, you know, that really was something, wasn't it? Yeah, I think um, I think that the players had worked hard on the bits that we'd that we'd worked on them with. So I think defending as a team, like we said before, pressing, and they really put all those into practice and and, and ended up putting it in for the full 90 minutes. And and we'd done it in patches here and there in games, but hadn't really had that overall um, all-round defensive game as well as we did on the weekend. So it was pleasing. I mean, it's the same messages to the players that we've been sort of doing since the start of pre-season, really. And, and, it, and slowly but surely, we're just sort of drip-feeding them in as we go. So, yeah, it was really pleasing. Fulham are sixth in the Barclays under-18 Premier League table and come into the tie off the back of a 1-0 win against West Brom last weekend. Four F Saints' five defeats this season have been decided by just a one-goal margin and Limbrick identified what his side needs to do to turn those defeats into wins. Yeah, well, I mean, finish a few chances would be nice. Um, we've been creating them, that's for sure, in, in virtually every game that we've played. I think we've scored in every game apart from the one um, on the weekend. So um, I think that we need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal, not just with the final um, shot, but also with the final pass, final cross, and, and, and that last ball into the box to create the chance. I think just with a little bit more care and quality in there and hopefully finish off a couple of chances this weekend. 
How's training been after a result? I mean, we don't doubt the motivation, the effort of the players, but yeah. has there been a bit of a lift in the mood? Yeah, I mean, the effort's been there every week um, anyway. Um, we, we work hard every week and go through what we need to go through, attacking and defending. Um, we had a good look at the debrief, which was good to show that we did keep the clean sheet. So, yeah, listen, the boys are every weekend they're ready and, and we will be this weekend as well. A quick mention on Harley Willard, great for him to get an under-18 call-up. His first for Scotland for upcoming games against Czech Republic. How happy are you with him to get there? Yeah, I mean, he, he also has been working hard and been improving his game. Um, he's a long way from, from where he was when he first came into us in the building. And he's been um, improving the areas and got a lot more focus now, which has been good for him. So he's been uh, he's, he's kicked on a little bit and, and starting a lot of games. And, and for him, just that final final ball as well, if he can focus on that, hopefully put that into practice for us. And yeah, it's always good for players to get international recognition and we wish him all the best when he goes. A quick update on our under-21s for you. They don't play until Thursday next week against Liverpool at Anfield, where they have the opportunity to leapfrog the Reds. Of course, there'll be a full preview and full highlights following that game coming up next week.